Hi, my name is Matt Parting. I am the head teacher here at Evendon Primary School. Normally, I would be welcoming you to a real tour uh, and taking you around um, our fabulous buildings and grounds. But unfortunately, that's not possible. So this is why we have produced this tour. And hopefully, over the next 20 minutes or so, you'll get a flavour of why we're so proud of Evendon uh, and why it's something that you would love to consider for your children. So here we really believe in nurturing and inspiring uh, exceptional thinkers and learners. Uh, and really all that means is, is that we want your children and the children that come here to Evendon to think for themselves, uh, to make decisions, to be able to understand context uh, and to be able to take the skills uh, and knowledge that they learn here and use it in real, day, uh, real life out there in the real world. There is one thing though that I want to kind of show you straight away which really encapsulates uh, the very heart of what we do here at Evendon and it's actually written on our floor as you walk into our grounds. Um, everyone walks over it every day, we see it and it is kindness matters. It is our ethos here, it's our mantra, every child knows it, every adult knows it uh, and it really sets the tone for how we treat each other here at the school and what we believe are the values that we want our young children taking out into the world. So as I said, all our tours always start outside because the outdoor area is so important to us. So I'm going to take you down, show you a little bit of our outdoor uh, space and wild area. Uh, and then some of my other colleagues are going to explain a little bit about the curriculum, about some of the uh, extended school opportunities that we have here at Edmonton. <laughs> The children are really used to being out in all weathers. We make sure that everyone has uh, wellies and coats and isn't afraid to get themselves dirty. And uh, as I take you around, you'll see that we actually we have quite a lot of wildlife and wild area, which we find really, really important. Uh, the idea here at Evidence really is that we uh, encourage um, management of risk for the children rather than avoiding risk. Uh, it's about them learning how to use the outside, learning how to be uh, out here safely by the, you know, with with adults but making sure that they know how to how to interact with the outside rather than avoiding it because it's dangerous so uh, I hope you see as we do a little tour around uh, our, our wild area just how important it is to us here. Um, these have been donated to us by the PTA uh, and as, you, as we go around you'll see how important the PTA uh, and their fundraising is to our ability to keep buying amazing resources for the children. Uh, so this is the key stage two trim trail here you can see our camouflage caravan which for outdoor reading uh, and intervention. It's another really nice place for children to go and find to do some work. Um, and the paths carry on all the way down here, so I'll take you down to our fire pit. So this is our fire pit area, and you can see it's still smoking actually from the reception class have just been in making hot chocolate, which is great. Uh, it's here next to our new sports court as well, which again is uh, been built in the last year. Uh, and was, uh, money was raised and donated by the, the PTA. It gives us an all year uh, ability to play football, to play netball, play basketball, uh, and do a lot of our sports and, and after school activities on the, on the sports. So one of the things that is slightly different here at Evendon's is the way that we treat our children. Uh, and we really believe in a uh, an ethos that gives children more responsibility and uh, gives them the chance to act like young adults as they would in the real world. So they do use uh, our first name, so I'm Matt to the children, just as all the other teachers are their first names. Uh, and you'll see it across the whole school that we really encourage the children to um, step up and to act like young adults. So just as I would if you were all on this tour with me now, not be expecting you to walk in quiet lines one behind the other. Uh, we don't expect our children to walk in silent lines, but we do expect them to walk maturely around the school at all times, just as we would with adults. Um, and bringing that ethos in actually allows, we think, our children to develop much more uh, into young, mature adults quicker because we're giving them that responsibility. Really good example and possibly my favourite time here at Evendon's is our lunches. We take lunch really, really seriously here. Uh, and one of the things that we do that we believe is, is different but better is that we make sure that every child uses their own cutlery and china uh, and that the teachers and adults eat with the children all the time. So it really does help to bring on that conversation to help with manners and understanding how meal times together are really, really important.
Here in reception at Evendon's, we follow the Early Years Foundation Stage Framework. This framework is divided into seven areas of learning. All areas of learning are important and interconnected. There are three prime areas which are important for igniting children's curiosity, developing their capacity to learn and helping them to form positive relationships. These are communication and language, physical development and personal, social and emotional development. There are also four specific areas through which the prime areas are strengthened and applied. These are literacy, mathematics, understanding of the world and expressive arts and design. All of these areas of learning are promoted throughout the school day and are taught in a variety of ways, such as whole class lessons, small group work and independent learning. Independent learning is a time where we encourage children to explore the classroom and outdoor area independently and to self-select activities of their choice. Each day we plan a range of activities that promote development in the seven areas of learning. Such activities include role play, water and sand play, fine motor activities and creative opportunities such as painting, drawing and model making. During this time, children have the opportunity to work collaboratively and to learn through play and hands-on experiences. We have a wonderful outside area here at Evendon's which the children are able to freely explore, discover and investigate. Our outside space provides the children to learn through active movement which supports their physical development and also enables them to understand and respect nature and the environment. Hello, my name is Megan and I'm one of the Year 1 teachers here at Evendon's. I'm also currently the Reception and Year 1 Phase Leader. I wanted to talk to you today about the wonderful curriculum that we have here. So, we have got a thematic curriculum here at Evendon's and what we do is we have used the Early Years Framework and the National Curriculum Objectives for each year group, but we have created and built our own Evendon's curriculum. Our curriculum is progressive and includes knowledge as well as lifelong skills that we wish our children to have by the time they leave us um, at, in year six ready for secondary school. Our curriculum is thematic and is based on key topics for each year group. Each half term or the children in each year group will start a new topic or a series of subtopics, so mini topics. We have written the thematic curriculum to ensure that our children have so many different opportunities to learn in a fun and engaging way. We try and link the topics as much as possible to real life experiences and we are able we are then able to take our children on wonderful trips and also we are able to invite lots of visitors in to talk about lots of different topics. We believe that learning takes place far further than the four walls that are that we have in our classrooms and we always try and make the most of our wonderful grounds that we have here at Evendon's and our outdoor areas. Hi everyone, I'm Katrina and I teach Year 6, but today I'm going to be sharing some information on our trips and residentials. At Evendon's, we love and are very proud of our trips and residentials, as we believe they broaden and enrich our curriculum and the experiences your children have while in primary school. The trips are all planned by staff and are chosen due to their links with topics and educational value. For example, reception will visit a local farm as part of their new life topic and year four will visit the sustainability centre as part of their sustainability topic. Residentials are a big part of your child's experience at Evendance and as they progress through the school, the trips become a little longer and a little further away from home, but are always suitable for their age and year group. Reception will camp at school with their parents. As they get older, the activities become a little more adventurous with a final week long trip to Wales in year six. If you need any more information about our school trips and residentials, there is lots of information to be found on our school website. Thank you. Hello there, my name is Lucinda. I am the music teacher here at Evidence. I get the pleasure of teaching all the children in the school from reception all the way up to year six. Um, music plays a huge role 
at this school. Um, we sing and we dance as much as we can. Um, every year group also learn an instrument, for example, um, in reception it's mainly singing based and um, we also we get out all the instruments and learn about the instruments um, and rhythm work, losing little drums. Um, in year one we learn to play the ukulele, in year two we learn the recorder, um, in year three it's guitar, year four it's glockenspiels and year five it's djembe drums and in year six they learn to play the keyboards. So we have a really fun packed curriculum learning different instruments and different skills throughout their time at Evidence. Um, they also do something called music and movement which is a daily dance session and that can be all types of music and all types of dance um, from samba to waltzing to dance music to nice calm yoga um, skills as well so it really does play a massive part at this school. Hello, my name's Catherine. I'm going to be talking to you about STEM at Evendons. Um, you may have noticed as you walk past the school, the sign um, says that Evendons is Wokingham's first STEM school. But what does this really mean? Well, STEM is a collective name given to the group of subjects that are most important for the development of Britain's future engineers, scientists and pioneers of future technology. So quite important. At Evendons, we strive to give the children a broad range of STEM experiences from an early age in order to develop their confidence and familiarity with science and technology. And ultimately, we hope to have a good proportion going on to successful careers in these industries. At STEM, the STEM we do at Evendons gives children a good understanding of what STEM means so they can make informed choices. There is no concept here of science being for boys. Every child takes part and enjoys their STEM and science learning. Um, engineering projects begin in reception, where the children are making model cars with axles, and their experiences develop onto making electric model cars in year five, and then the ultimate experience building electric go-karts and racing them at Goodwood. Coding too begins at a young age where the younger children will be developing simple algorithms on the purple mash platform. And as the children get older and more confident, they begin to use micro bits and data loggers, programming hardware to perform simple tasks. And we have just recently acquired some crumble boards, which are small computers, which the children can program. Um, and carry out investigations on. At Evendons, we learn about scientific concepts through hands-on investigations. We encourage children to raise their own questions and to find out the answers by observing closely and collecting data. Children enjoy this way of learning and it results in a much deeper understanding of the key ideas in the national curriculum. Towards the end of the year at Evendons, we celebrate everything STEM at our annual STEM fair. This is a huge event that stands from a wide range of technology companies who are keen to engage the children in their work. Contributors include 3M, Microsoft, National Grid, Thames Water, um, as, many, as well as many local companies and secondary schools who want to share their exciting equipment and activities with the children. Hello, my name's Stacey Reid. I'm the Deputy Head here at Evendons. I'm also responsible for teaching and learning at the school. I hope that the video so far has given you an insight into our curriculum and our provision for children at the school. We are an inclusive school and if you'd like more information about our approach to special needs then please phone the office and one of us will call you back. We have a breakfast club which starts at 7.45 and we also have an after school club which runs from 3.30 until 6. At this club they provide a snack for the children and there are also a range of activities such as fencing, sports, cooking, engineering and music. We hope that our after school provision enhances our already excellent curriculum that we provide at Evendons. Hi, 
hope you really uh, enjoyed that tour and having a good look around the school and I hope it's given you the information that you were looking for. Uh, anything else that you might want, just email or ring into our amazing office team and I'm sure that they'd be willing to, to answer any questions you've got. Um, but yes, thank you very much for spending the time and hopefully maybe see some of you in a future September. Thank you.